RuneScape! Oh, RuneScape is a game that... Oh, well, it freaking slaps, man. But, like every MMO, we have lots of bots. We've got Nightmare bots, we've got Vorkath bots, we got Zalcano bots, we've got Thieving bots, we've got Thieving bots, we've got Thieving bots. We got Elk bots, we got Gamble bots, we got bots that are just fun to goof around with. We got Leviathan bots, we got bots that I don't know what they're doing. We got Zora bots. <laughs> and it's not like Jagex isn't trying to stop it. They ban over 200,000 bots per month. And Sweet never lies. But the thing with bots is it's an automated system. It's so easy for them to have a thousand bots on the ready, even if a thousand just got banned. And while I do think Jagex should be better at manually looking at the top high scores of bosses and review these accounts, we do have a few insane players like Farmer legitimately killing 75,000 Armadil. I think we can all agree that the manually reviewed bans are just a drop in the bucket. A thousand accounts with a hundred kill count will have a much bigger effect than banning one account with 20,000 kill count. We know that the player base has been upset for some time about the lack of response from Jagex on this, but I would argue that Jagex has been working on this but just can't tell us much for a few reasons. The simple answer is yes, they are doing something. A lot of something. On February 22nd, they released a news post detailing how many bots they ban per week and how much GP is removed from the economy. But we can see, uh, even with the 6.9 million bots banned in a single year, it's still a big problem for the players. A big thing that stuck out to me in this news post is that they are working on big initiatives to tackle botting. Of course, they can't tell us what because it gives the botters a head start on working around these initiatives. This stuck out to me because it reminded me of another time Jagex promised us when they were working on something. Remember in 2021 when Jagex shut down 117's project right before it became public? Of course, the backlash made them go back on this, but still. Their big reason for stopping this project was that they wanted to do their own HD client, and then we never heard about their HD client again, until the 2024 Winter Summit. And it really does look wonderful, but why would a community plugin be an issue for Jagex's HD, and why would they want to block it? As much as we do not want to admit it, Runelight is a problem. And not just Runelight, but HDOS as well. It's a community-driven client that Jagex does have to spend resources on to monitor the plugins and make sure none of them can be abused. Even with Jagex monitoring it, sometimes plugins ruin of the game a bit. Take Watchdog, for instance. They just had to disable it in certain places because it made content like the Colosseum or Tob much easier. And I'm no stranger to plugins. I use quite a few myself and recognize they bring a lot of much needed quality of life to this old game. But I also realize a lot of clients are built off of Runelight and have an easier time getting through the bot detection systems because Runelight is allowed. But wait, you might say, there were definitely bots before Runelight. I remember when I was 8, waking up to chop yew trees, there would be a hundred bots on a world chopping yew trees as well. And yes, of course there were bots back then. Um, we can still record mouse movements from our computer end, or do auto clickers, or I can get my dog to lick the mouse and alk for me. He's not technically a bot, but I don't think that's allowed. And there will still be bots, but they're not doing Theater of Blood bots or Tombs of a Masket bots, not these high intensity bots at bosses. Oh, no! And sure, there's still going to be some, but there would be a lot less if they weren't able to build the bot around a client. The reality is, though, 
if we get rid of Runelight, you lose a significant chunk of the player base. Jagex has been trying to compete by slowly adding these features to the official client, but it still doesn't see much use because they can't compete with a community creating plugins. And I think they realize this. And that's why with the official HD mode, Jagex is going to add plugins to the official client. This is also going to enable plugins for mobile. So the official client will run smoother than RuneLight with its RuneTech engine, it will have better graphics, and it will have plugin support. At this point, will Jagex still want to allocate their resources to monitoring multiple third-party clients? If there's one thing old school players are, it's that we are stubborn. We generally don't like change, and Jagex is going to need to leave both clients open for a while before only allowing access to their official client. But I do think that is the way we're headed. I think this is their behind the scenes bot fix. I think Jagex isn't going to want to keep OSRS optimized for Java, which is what RuneLight relies on, and the new client. I think Jagex initially did not want 117's HD to come out because it makes the switch to the official client more jarring. And I think the long-term goal is to get away from third-party clients in general. And if they can make their official client just as good, then I think this is a good decision. Having multiple different clients to play the game on is kind of weird, especially for new players. It's also very difficult for marketing a game when it has several different clients, all with different graphical styles. I believe between the implementation of Jagex accounts, which, oh yeah, <laughs> that's, that's coming too if you haven't switched yet, and having a single official client, we will see a sizable reduction in the bot problem. I think it's impossible to get a bot population to zero in any MMO, but I do think Jagex is working on it, and I do think there are big plans. Except, go look at the high scores, Jagex. Come on, clean that up a little bit. I'd love to hear what you all think about the third-party client situation, HD mode, and botting. And if you enjoyed this video, a like and subscribe helps me out a lot. Hope you all have a wonderful day.